What's up, y'all? Tasha in there sleep. And meanwhile, I'm in here plotting and planning, okay? Shout out to Miami. She gave me a really good prank idea, you guys. She wanted me to dress goth and see how Tasha reacts. So I was like, that's a really unique idea. I'm not gonna go straight into the video just looking straight goth, y'all. Y'all already know. I'm gonna wear some of the items that I would naturally just wear. But during the video, I'm gonna have her keep going to get me stuff. And I'm gonna hide the shit so that she cannot find it. And that'll give me time to actually put on different other different items, okay? So by the end of the video, I'm gonna look totally goth. I went on Amazon. I bought everything I could that was black, y'all. So let me show y'all what I got. This is gonna be fun. So we got some black gloves. I have some earrings, you guys. Of course, the black lipstick. We got. I found a nose ring, a choker, and some black nails. Okay. I feel like the nose ring is probably gonna be the hardest one for me to get on. But I'm gonna go out there already with my nails on, probably the earrings, and maybe the choker. Right, y'all. So this is how I'm gonna start the video. I kind of don't want to wear the choker because I feel like that makes it look a little bit too much but i'm not gonna be able to get this on in the middle of the video because it's very hard to get on so i'm just gonna have it on before the video i got my black nails done look at the gloves you guys how cute are these why do i love these y'all might see me wearing these for real i think these are so cute but i'm not gonna go on with these i'm gonna have to figure out how to get these on i also have to figure out how to get my nose ring on during the video and the black lipstick y'all I wanted to show y'all real quick how, how the nose ring looks. I'm not going to go on the video with this, but I just wanted to give y'all a close-up. Y'all, I ain't hating this golf look, y'all. I might, y'all might see me looking different. I think this shit cute. <laughs> That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're going to eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. What's up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph and Tasha. We are back with another mug mug. If you are new to our channel, please check the rest of our videos out and welcome to our channel. Shout out to all the new and all the old. Y'all not old, but you know. <laughs> and uh, uh, <laughs> if you've been with her, if you've been here before, my baby, welcome Red back. I'm ready to eat, y'all. Let's go, <laughs> baby. Tell them what we're doing today. Today, you guys, we are doing the homemade. This is gonna we gonna call this jerk chicken pasta. And this is some fried chicken my baby made, and we got some salads on the side. Let's, a couple random topics that we're gonna talk about. Right. Are you ready? Yes. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, we're back. Yes, so. It is five o'clock. Okay, y'all, this is our first meal of the day, and I think it's gonna be a good one, okay? Mm -hmm. My baby was like, I said, babe, do you want to cook, or would you like to just order something? Because we woke up pretty late, y'all. Did too much last night. Mm -hmm. She was like, I'll cook. Which ended up being me cooking most of the stuff, y'all. Not cooking, but I made the salads. Uh, you did cut up stuff. Mm -hmm. I made the pasta, and she made the chicken. I didn't want to cook. That's why she I was didn't. suggesting let's order something. Yeah, but you asked. But I'm glad we cooked. Because exactly. our tasty pieces of chicken, and it's bomb. Thank you, thank you. Oh, babe! No. No, 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 no. Please don't. It was an accident. I wasn't pranking you. Oh. <laughs> I was like, please don't let this be the... I'm dropping shit on you, Frank. Nah, that was an accident. Mm, thank you. I'm sorry. Thank God. Thank God, y'all. I don't want something on my clothes. Not it's today. already on it. Were you planning on keeping this on? No. Are you sure? No, I wasn't. I probably was, but it's fine. It's okay. You can watch it. Ain't nobody coming over with Rhonda. Rhonda's coming over, y'all. So, trying to get our work done. So, we can entertain the company. Mm, I like it. It's different. Yeah, this was definitely um, an experiment, you guys. I use Walker's Wood jerk seasoning. Mm hmm. Like that jerk marinade, that wet one. We all know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very, very different, guys. And this is the spicy one. I like the spicy kick it has. For mm -hmm. sure. Mm hmm. I'm hungry. So, this, um, check it out. What do you do? It tastes a little lemony. I put any lemon in it. Oh. I just, um, maybe just the, um, buttermilk. Oh yeah, I marinated it in this. Um, um, it was my nice little crunch. Thank you. Mm. So I marinated it. Can I have that dressing so we don't use all? We gonna end up using it. I was thinking I probably use all this, but I don't oh, know. okay, I might not. Um, uh, the box. Oh, some croutons, baby. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh, so um. If y'all want to know, I mean, y'all don't want to know. What? You asked me. I marinated it in buttermilk, mustard, 
Mm. Ranch seasoning. That's what it is. Mustard. The mustard and the buttermilk gave it a mm. tangy. Thank you. A tanginess that I'm really loving. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Um. Yeah. There's nothing left in mm -hmm. here. Let me get my salad real quick, y'all, before this salad don't get eaten. Chicken seasoning. Paprika. Garlic powder. That's it. Ooh. And butter. Ooh, 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 ooh. So y'all, I got um, I do have a couple of viewer topics also was thinking about just some random when you brought up Neo. Oh. And his um situation, y'all. Mm -hmm. So he his wife filed for divorce. Well, I don't know. I'm sure, but she put him out there, put his business out there that he's been um, paying women for um, intimate sessions, different women. So y'all know what that means. And then she said, "I've been dealing with this for long enough." Like she didn't say that. Oh. I said that the way she made the way that the way that she wrote it, it seems like she's been keeping it quiet, okay. and so it's been happening. It's happened before. Girl, ain't no way in damn hell. That I'm going to keep my mouth shut while you paying to have this room. What? My question to y'all is, would you put the person on blast? <clears throat> when I heard she put him on blast, I was like, I damn sure would have. Mm -hmm. You get on blast for sure. Then Tasha told me about the kids. But... Why would you put them on blast, though? <laughs> I'll put on that blast, number one. Because I'm mad. Yeah. I'm mad and bitter. And you, <laughs> you people gonna know. Right. I know you want it hidden and you about to be exposed. Mm -hmm. That's why. Because I'm mad. Shit. I'm all about revenge. I'm damn sure not about to go sleep with no prostitutes. So, Do it. Okay. Nah. So, you gotta get something. Mm. But when you said that he had, they had small kids, I was like, ah. I don't know, cause I don't want my kids being bullied at school and harassed and made fun of. Right. So that might have stopped me. That might have stopped. That might have stopped me. Well, when you're a mother, um, I think you think about your kids before you make any move. But I think that anger might sometimes overrule, or you 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 go with anger first and you don't think about your kids immediately. Cause I've been. Uh, yeah, I've been in situations where, <laughs> kinda, maybe I didn't think about Elijah first. I'm not sure. But was it something that was going to affect him like that though? No. I think that everything a person does in their life when they have kids affects their kids. Mm. No matter what. Where you decide to live, where you decide to put them in school, what job you decide to get, everything affects your kids. That's true. I mean, even with us doing YouTube, there, he could have had a negative um, reaction from people mm -hmm. because we're gay. Mm -hmm. And thank God he didn't. So that was something. I don't think we considered that before we started, you know, YouTube. No, but he already. Um, now, if he had a problem with it, mm -hmm. then I think it may have been something we would have thought about more. True. But Elijah is always, I've always been gay. So he's known, yeah. you know, he as long care. as he knew what it was. Um, I remember when he was younger, these girls were talking about him. Oh, your mom dresses like a boy. He was like, so? I like it. Yeah. So, <laughs> right. He don't think nothing wrong with it. He doesn't let people's opinions affect him, so. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm gonna get some more chicken. And I really want. Let me get one too. Plate. I'm starting to taste the blue cheese a little bit. You are? Uh huh. You don't like it? No. I put too much, I guess. Mm. Excuse me. I'm gonna eat it though. Let me try. 
Mm. I want some barbecue sauce on this. I'm about to read my first topic, y'all. Oh, yeah. I put way too much dressing, y'all. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. You see? Mm -hmm. I, I just did too much. <sighs> Real quick, though. So, what did you have to help? Um. I don't think so. I don't think you told me. It's just really not in your character. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's in my character. It's sure. in my character to get revenge, but that wouldn't make me want to get revenge. No? Mm -mm. Oh. Yeah. All right. So she said, "Hey, Stumptasha, I love your channel. Thank you so much. I watch you too every day. Love you too. I have a viewer topic, and I hope you can discuss it on your, on your channel. Little backstory: I've been married for 20 years. We have three beautiful children. I'm a teacher, and he's a husband. What? I mean, <laughs> okay. so basically, you don't have a job." Okay. I'm a teacher and my husband is a reverend. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm a little dyslexic, y'all. So needless to say, we are in church several times a week. Two of my kids are your average everyday kid, but my youngest will be considered somewhat weird. She's always been a little different because, I mean, but lately things have started to change faster. She's almost 14 and has been hanging out with a girl who I think is influencing her. Okay. Um, she's starting to act weird um act weird yes yeah, she started to act weird and her She's not saying what though. wearing strange clothes oh uh -huh. her father is totally against this and is wait and says oh it says this is against what he wants his family to represent the, to the church okay why is he worried about the church instead of Okay. I feel like a lot of them are like that. Oh yeah, I don't know they are. He's a pastor, so he's really like, my child can't be doing this and doing that. That's gonna be hard for her, but okay. He forces her to wear normal clothes whenever she goes to church and this makes her very unhappy. Although I accept her changes, I also do not like, I mean, do not like them or agree with them. Okay. I want her to be normal and stop acting so strange. She's not really giving us nothing. I don't even know what she means. Like. Her idea of strange might not even be mine. So when I see her kid, it's hard to give advice when she you kinda, Okay, so right now she says, I can't relate to this new person. She's dressing in the emo or gothic style and she oh. is very um, secretive. Very secretive and depressed. I secretly want her to be like my other kids mm -hmm. and I resent her for embarrassing the family. Wow. Yeah. God. Like, should I not allow her to hang out with these new friends who are completely changing my daughter into a strange human? <laughs> oh, shit. That's crazy. I mean, I'm like, a lot of people are like, we're into religion, especially like those, the reverends and the families, uh -huh. they really have strict ways they want their kids to be. Yeah. Ooh. And then... With the other kids being regular or whatever you want to say, it's really putting pressure on the star kid. Like, I'm saying, you're messing the family up. Basically. Yeah, and she's not. She's her own some sriracha for the show. And you want to get some sriracha? Yeah. Oh, she's good. Shall I ride? Shall I? Where is it? It should be in there. In the refrigerator? Yeah. I think it's on the top. It has um, the green. I oh, thing. it has. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Thank you. Shit all over my thing. You're welcome. <sighs> What, the cheek? Right yeah, I took this to the dry cleaners and now I got ranch all over it. Anyway, I think they should just let her do whatever she doing and be who she wants to be. Yeah, I agree. I think that, um, look, you had three kids, right? One of them was bound to do something you didn't want. 
Do you expect them all to be the same, all to be perfect? They're not going to be. They are all individual people. Be lucky you didn't have a serial killer. She's dressing emo. I don't know if it's going to be that she's going to be emotional, depressed, or whatever, but she is a teenager. They Does do. emo even mean that, though? Does it mean that you are depressed? Act like, actually? Um... I don't know. I'm not sure what emo means. I mean, it sounds like it's short for emotional. Mm. <laughs> um. Uh. Fuck. Did you just go put that lipstick on? What? Did you just go put that yeah. lipstick on? I did. Oh. I just feel my lip. You look emo. I, 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 are you sad and depressed? No. No. Um. I'm not. I think that if we got any emo people out there, what does it mean emotionally for you? Yeah. I think people mistake emo and gothic too. I don't look the same thing. But uh, they both wear like, do they both wear dark clothes? So it's like, how do you know? Um, you know what? I have no idea because I don't know what they are. I just know that they wear black. Um, but. I think that it's okay. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'll be 100% honest. I'm looking for a I lost my ear. I mean, my nose ring. I can't tell you to do something that I wouldn't do, but I can. Or tell you. I don't know how to act gothic. I was supposed to be dressing gothic. Shout out to Miami. She asked me to do this. That was a prank? I guess. She was I mean, like, act dress gothic. You look gothic. You look gothic. I mean, it's cute. I thought, I, like I mean, the, I didn't want to say when you came out. I was like, oh, she look a little witchy. Right. But you got to get along on the craft. She said sexy. To me. No, you did. <laughs> you look like a sexy witch. <laughs> yeah. No, I said you look sexy. I, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Look, y'all. I, I had a black nose, nose ring. You know, I had to do it so fast. Oh. I had a black nose ring that fell. I tried to put it on when you walked away, then uh -huh. the shit fell. Oh. So I don't know where the hell. My like nose the... ring, I knew that was gonna be the problem. Oh. Cause it's a magnet. Mm hmm Yeah, no, that shit did not stick, if y'all saw. <laughs> so magnets don't magnetize through it, skin. No, it actually works, but you have to do take time. Oh, okay. I was trying to do it so fast and then dropped it. Mm-hmm. This lipstick is a mess. I feel like I'm tearing this stuff up. I was trying to put the lipstick <clears> on, it wasn't going on right, so that's why I left. <clears throat> That was a mess, y'all. I'm sorry, Miami. I tried. She did a good job. I didn't want to come straight on with the outfit on. I wanted to ease it in. Mm. So. Oh, is the prank? Is the topic fake? The topic's fake. Oh shit. <laughs> that was my love. That's so stupid. <laughs> okay. That's why I was struggling to say what kind of her daughter was. Oh, okay. And I was like, okay. just read it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I was like. Weird? What you mean by weird? But I think this is a real thing, though. You know, it, it is a real it subject a that real people thing. are dealing with. Mm -hmm. And for the the parents, it's like you gotta let your kids do what they want to do for themselves, even if you're not happy about it. Mm -hmm. You don't want your kids to be unhappy. That's true. You know what I mean? As long as they're not hurting themselves or somebody else with the shit they're doing, okay? Yeah, you gotta step in on those type of things. But there's gonna be a, some kind yeah, of yeah. Like, there's gonna know? be a lot of times where they're going to do something that you don't like and um also when they get older they're gonna be like i can't believe i did that right but i was gonna tell you what i was trying to say earlier what i did i feel like i was kind of wrong you okay. know i thought about it but i still decided it elijah wanted to paint his nails black and i said no i remember that i was like no you can't and to me it's because no i was just like and, and i should have maybe let him but i still feel the way i mean if i could go back i would probably say no again and usually we let elijah be free and do make his own decision do whatever he wants but with that, I was like, that does not look professional. Sure. You, now I know you're a teenager and it's not, you're not trying to be professional. I understand that. But I don't want to see you with that shit on. I don't. <laughs> I just don't. I know guys are doing it, doing it. I was, and it's not a heterosexual, uh, homosexual thing. Cause I don't care if he was either way. It's just that I don't want to see you with black nail polish. It doesn't look good to me. Yeah. I think it's hard being a parent because there's just a lot of things that you want like you have an idea of what you want your kid to be mm -hmm. and so when things go a little off you be like ah, well, you know, I want to. but then you know yeah. i think things turned out okay what do you like no things turned out okay in the end yeah. for the most part 
With people, just with people. Oh yeah, yeah. it does. It, yeah. It, your kid is gonna Everybody be like, gonna be no matter changes what. and matures throughout their yeah. life. All and then people the look at their friends and they say, "Well, I want to do that too. I want to see how it is." It might not even be for them, but they don't even know what is for them. They don't even know how they want to dress or who mm -hmm. they want to be yet. So they probably just try every little thing, which is good. Yeah, you look cute. You know, like my look. Wait, like, I love these gloves so much. Y'all, right, she gonna start I don't wearing. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna incorporate these motherfuckers I'm in my sure outfit. This shit nice. cute. Out <laughs> Wait, real too. Hmm? I got all the hair my the black shit. The yeah, lipstick. All kinds of. Well, yeah, so that was fun though, you guys. Yeah, hit me up in my uh DMs. Y'all giving me some good stuff to do. Steph loves love. Thank you very much. What about me? Have y'all giving me good stuff? <laughs> I see stuff in my in my I'm gonna get to it. <laughs> get to it. I still ain't gonna do it right. I'm sorry for everybody who's sending me topics. Team Tasha, I love y'all. Um, you know, I'ma try. I don't, I don't know how to start acting off yeah. I wish I did now. So I could have. What did you do? That. I saw you doing something, but I was like, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Okay. <laughs> Give her something else, y'all. All right, y'all. <laughs> Till next time. If y'all like the. Okay. Till next time. Only vibes. Peace.